In case you missed the KC Sports Memorial Day Dual Super NIT 12th and 13th Major Championship Games live on MLB.com. No worries, because we have your entire tournament recap right here. Welcome to U-Triple-S-A Midwest Network News. I'm Michelle Roberts. And I'm Chucky Kim. Find out how the 11 AAA Springfield Mavericks honored those who protect their freedom and how Midwest Sports Productions Memorial Day NIT benefited a home for healing teens. Plus, later in the show, we have a walk-off championship win in our Game of the Week and the nominees you can vote for for the May Play of the Month. But first, let's go to the KC Sports Baseball Action, where teams competed for birth to the Elite World Series. We've got highlights from both 10 AAA semifinals this week, starting with the KC Express and the Oklahoma Orioles. All Express in this one, and they're getting things done with two outs here early on. Already one two-out base hit, why not another? Right up the middle, there's a run coming across, and they got it done defensively as well. Runner on third, the Orioles bunting here, but the runner is coming home. He hops out of the baseline trying to avoid the tag, so he is out. And then later on, two on, two outs, and the second straight strikeout to get out of the jam. The Express rolling, but they weren't quite finished. Back on the offensive side of things, two runners on. Here's a rocket over the left fielder's head. This ball is going to roll a while and make it easy for the two runners to score, but the batter has other ideas. He wants to join his pals in the dugout, so he kicks it into a high gear and scores as well. The inside the park home run helps lead the Express to a 7-2 win and a trip to the championship. The other 10 triple semifinal bombers and Minsky's Orioles. O's up one, O's up two. Line shot to left center brings the seventh run across for the orange and black. Seven to five in the third. Let's go to the bottom of the fourth. Same score, but the bombers turn. This guy apparently got his pitch. It happened to be at eye level. Takes the high fastball through the left side. It's a one run ball game, seven to six. They would later tie it at seven, so we've got a good one on our hands. Jump a little later, fifth inning and a chance for the Bombers to take the lead. Soft liner down the third baseline. A good catch saves the game and gets them out of the inning, but they would be back. Bottom of the seventh inning, they end it with a bang. Moon shot to left and that is the ball game. The Bombers win it, eight to seven with a walk off in the seventh. They would go on to fall in the championship game, seven to five to the KC Express. One of the early championship games Monday over at Platte Ridge put the Missouri Bandits up against the Minmo Fury. Some early offense for the Bandits, bottom of the first, a couple runners on. Ball slapped through the right side for a base hit and that starts the scoring in this one. One zip Bandits and now it's first and third. Not for long, same inning, this rip is a little bit bigger than the grounder through the right side. How about a deep fly ball to center? Drops it right in the grass, and that's going to allow two more runs to score. Three nothing bandits, and they added more to it. But with their pitching and defense this weekend, they wouldn't need much more. They held their first two bracket opponents to two and three runs while outscoring them by 12 combined. This may have been their defensive play of the weekend, though. Fourth inning, take a look. One more, please. What a grab. They wouldn't completely hold the Fury down as they get across three more runs in the game, but the Bandits go on to win the 14 AAA Championship 5-3. Before we get to the 13 Major Championship, how about we show you how the Iowa Capitals got to the championship. The game delayed with the tying run at third, the winning run at second. Pitch in the dirt, ball gets away from the catcher but hits the wood, backstop and bounces back toward the pitcher, safe at the plate, and the winner comes second later. Ball gets away, no chance for a play, and the Capitals win it 13 to 12 to move on to the title game on MLB.com. The St. Louis prospects facing the Capitals in the title game. Jumping to the top of the second, three nothing Capitals. First pitch and Logan Coop drives a deep back and off the wall for a double and prospects first hit of the game. Next batter and next pitch, Christian Little drills it to left field, out of the ballpark for a two-run home run, and back-to-back -back huge hits for the prospects. Gets them within one. Skipping to the bottom of the third, prospects up eight to four, but with two outs, the Capitals knock it back up the middle, and one run comes in to score as Aiden Moby gets an RBI double. Then Derek Guinness keeps the two-out rally going for the Capitals with a base hit to left center, bringing in another run. Caps get three runs that inning, but in the top of the fourth, the prospects answer with their own two-out rally. Shea McGinn sails it to left field, scoring Austin Luna, who was on third after two stolen bases. Next inning, Capitals tie it up 9-9 on a fly ball. 
then in the top of the six, Little comes up big again. He finds the same spot over the left field fence. This time, it's a solo shot, and his team takes the title game 14-11. to How did it feel to be in the zone? Felt great, trying to help the team win. And Mason Luna had a huge catch in the outfield in the last inning. Did you think he was going to make that grab? Yes, I did. I expected him to because he's a great player. You guys went undefeated this weekend and just qualified for the Elite World Series. How would you sum up this win for your team? Um, great win, battled, played hard. Warriors taking on altitude in the 12 major championship. In the bottom of the second, Pyrese Miller cranks one to left. Scoring Carson Conan and altitude adds to their 1-0 lead with an RBI double. Skipping to the top of the third, Warriors fighting back. With runners on the corner, Tyler Wren bounces it past short and both runners cross the plate. Wren's RBI double ties the game up at two. Still in the same inning, Warriors trying to take the lead. And this one laced back up the middle will give them a chance, but Altitude's relay is right on point. Tucker Moore and Carson Conan get the out at the plate to hold the game at two. Then the momentum stays in their favor. Reese Chapman rips it down the first baseline, scoring Champagne, and he has some wheels coming in for the triple. Altitude takes the lead three to two and scores three more runs that inning. To the top of the fourth, Warriors need to climb their way back, and they do. The first four batters reach bases in the fourth, and they push three runs across. Six to five altitude. But it doesn't stay that way for long. Jaden Brown lays down a bunt that scores Miller, and altitude is back up by two. Skipping to the bottom of the fifth, 7-6 altitude, and they drive it to left, but Bobby Bryan is there. What a grab by Bryan to keep his team within one. Top of the six, Warriors last chance at bat, and Dallas Macias gets the last out and closes the game out. And the Altitude are the champions of the KC Sports Memorial Day Super NIT. Dallas, you just closed it out on the mound. Such a big moment, you just performed under pressure. Tell me, what was your mentality when you're up there? Well, my mentality was just going down there and putting it down there. I know I can trust my defense. They've done such a great job for me all year. And I was just happy to be out there and throwing the ball. The best place out here and nobody else gets to be there. You had a lot of pitching changes and positions. What can you say about your team's depth? I think our team's depth is incredible. The guy gets the call to go up there and he gets his job done. Nobody's complaining, so it's great. When we return, we'll hear how a baseball team chose to honor and remember those who defended their freedom. Stay with us. Midwest Sports Productions creates a unique atmosphere that allows youth athletes to grow on and off the field. Themed and benefit tournaments such as the Hawaiian Hit Fest, we love the Hawaiian Hit Fest and the Alex Gordon Classic brings out the best in every player. With 60 years of combined tournament directing experience and 7,500 teams participating last year, MSP is the country's largest youth sports provider. For a weekend of ball like no other, choose MSP. For more information, visit PlayMSP.com. For the 11 AAA Springfield Mavericks, playing in the Memorial Day Dual Super NIT wasn't just about wins and losses. The Mavericks used part of their uniform to remember those men and women in uniform who have fought for their freedom. Every year, our Mavs baseball team club-wide uh, puts uh, military decals on their helmets, and it's made them think a little bit about um, what freedom means. And it also gives the chance for the kids to talk with their parents about some of their uh, relatives and kind of what sacrifices they may have made uh, so uh, they can play baseball and, and live in a free country as well. I have the army in honor of my grandpa and he was in the Korean War but the enemy was nearby and his friend was out in the fields and he saw a grenade and he saved, he saved him before the grenade went off. We probably wouldn't even be here if it weren't for their sacrifices so like playing, playing for them we're just trying to show people that we appreciate them. Our game of the week takes us to a dare park where Midwest Sports Productions held their Memorial Day NIT. One team in the championship fought their way through bracket play with a 4-1 win and 2-0 win. While the team they met in the title game had to score two runs in the last inning of the semifinal to get there, and they would finish the weekend 9-0, but I'm not telling you which is which just yet. 18 8th Memorial Day NIT, Team Nebraska and Lawrence Phoenix both made their way to the championship with some offense, but a lot of pitching, and both came to play. Phoenix up 1-0, bottom of the second, one out, runner on third for Team Nebraska, and that fly ball gets the job done. That ties the game at one apiece. How about this for pitching, though? After that inning, there was not another base runner for three and a half frames, and not another run scored until extra inning. Strikeout followed by the diving stop from the shortstop, only to be matched by the red jerseys again following a strikeout. 
Shortstop making a stab to save a base hit, but that may not have been the most important play of the game defensively because with a runner on third and two outs for Lawrence Phoenix, the outfield comes up big. Soft liner to center, uh, yeah, nothing falling for either team right now. So in extras, both teams score one in the eighth, but Lawrence Phoenix can't get one across in the ninth. That makes way for this. Runner on third, all they need is a fly ball, and they got it. Team Nebraska wins it 3-2 over Lawrence Phoenix to be crowned champions of the Memorial Day NIT and finish the weekend 9-0. We had a rough start during our first part of our season, but we worked hard and we pulled through, so we're really excited for this. Yeah, playing the Phoenix in the final, was that was our toughest pool game. We won 4-3 in that and had to win, score two runs in the last inning of that game also. And so we knew we'd be up against it. And uh, But the game right before us, we played eight innings um, and one in international. So our girls already had that experience. And so they stepped up again, and we and we got it done. Kaylee really pulled through, and she stayed strong. We're really proud of her. And we were make sure we had our her back, and it's really pulled through for her. She threw in all nine games this weekend. And because we only had nine girls this weekend, and she's the only pitcher we had. That kid is a stud and really stepped up, and she's only 16. So. It's time for a quick commercial break, but stick around for the May Play of the Month nominees and hear how a fast pitch tournament helps support a house for healing teens. That's up next. With more than 20 years of experience putting on high level events, there's no better choice for your team than KC Sports Tournaments. Get the best experience and exposure this summer by choosing U-Triple-S-A and playing KC Sports Tournaments all season long. Don't miss out on a chance to compete against the best while getting an outstanding tournament experience. We've got events happening right now and all summer long, including our Memorial Day Dual Super NIT, which will once again be broadcast live on MLB.com. At KC Sports, we pride ourselves on making your tournament experience something you'll never forget. Visit KCSports.org for more information. Welcome back. At the Memorial Day Fast Pitch NIT, MSP partnered with the House of Hope to lift the stigma on teen struggles. Well, this tournament is especially amazing because they've got teams with girls from ages 10 to 18, and that's really the girls that we deal with. Right now, you've got one in 12 teenagers attempting or thinking about suicide. I mean, that's a serious issue, and we want to make sure that we let parents know all that they can do to try to help prevent that. Our vision statement is is teens healed, families restored, communities transformed, and so we really work to make a difference in the entire community one girl at a time. It's giving me joy back in my life again, um, but I mean it's not only helping me and my family, you know, like me and my family are so close now. Well this means really a, a whole lot to us. This is way more than a tournament. For us to have the opportunity to partner with an organization that's been so meaningful to our family. Um, We've had our daughter um, that was a resident there for 13 months and see the transformation of her life and see the transformation of so many teenage girls' lives has been a, such an impact on us. And to be able to use our platform and use this event to be able to bring them exposure um, and also raise some um, resources for them as they get ready to open up their uh, second home with 16 more beds, it's, uh, it means a lot to us as a family. I'm really just hoping this tournament opens eyes for people with that. Um, because I think suicide and teen awareness and all that stuff, it's, it's a topic that no one wants to talk about, yet it needs to be talked about. I've had little girls come up and donate money, and I think that's awesome because, you know, maybe they may not know what they're doing, what they're giving to. They may just be handing you some money, but at the same time, that little bit of money, it's going so far in the grand scheme of life. Three months into the U-Triple-S-A Baseball and Fast Pitch 2016 season, and the plays just keep getting better. But which was the top in the month of May? We'll let you decide between these nominees. First up, 12A Championship at Platte Ridge in the Hawaiian Hip Fest. The Hawks left fielder making a big catch early in this game, just snags it before it hits the grass. Up next, 14 triple at the KC Sports Memorial Day Dual Super NIT. This is going to be tough to beat. Center fielder for the Missouri Band is in the alley. That is theft. At Midwest Sports Productions Memorial Day NIT, we got a two for one. Team Nebraska with the snag at shortstop and then with the go-ahead run on third late in the game. The center fielder comes running in and saves the game for the red and white. They would win the game three to two in nine innings. Eight coach pitch up in Iowa earlier this month. The Mustangs making a diving catch on the infield, getting the young guns in on the play of the month action. At last but not least, Christian Little getting it done on the big stage for the St. Louis prospects. One long ball early in the game to bring them within one, and then late in the game with it all tied up. He does it again to help lift his team to victory in 13 major. 
The Play of the Month voting begins now and ends on Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Vote in the Twitter polls at USSA underscore Midwest and check back here next week for the countdown. Also on next week's show, we'll have a recap from the seven MSP events, including the Fast Pitch Hawaiian Hit Fest and the Oklahoma City Challenge. And from KC Sports, the JustBats.com June Jam. Thanks for joining us for USSA Midwest Network News. See you next week.